Hi, this is Les McCarter from Power Up Training. Today's quick solution to the question, how to create a PowerPoint animated GIF. Yes, I'm gonna say GIF, not GIF. You can use it any way you wish, but this is the way we're going forward. I need to point out before we go too far, this is a cutesy trick, rarely used, but if the situation shows up, here's how you do it. An animated GIF will convert multiple slides into a single file that looks like it's moving. There are two techniques, a simple and an advanced. The simple method will work on Office 2013 all the way up to the modern version, while the advanced version is reserved and works only for Office 365 with some additional controls. The simple method is more generic and works with PowerPoint going back to 2013. There are a few options, but it does get the job done, sort of. Let's see. Start with the File menu from the Ribbon menu. Next, if you're running Office 2013, you will see the choice of Save As. But if you're running a more recent version, such as Office 365, you will see Save a Copy. Choose whichever you have, and everything else will be the same. Then. You're going to go to the drop down list next to the PowerPoint presentation as a .pptx as a current presentation file format. You'll go down, you'll select animated GIF format and save and you're done. Let's go do it. In my existing presentation, I have a simple drawing of a dog on a single slide. I want to animate the slides to make it look like the dog is running along. So what I need to do is duplicate the slide. I'm going to use the control D while highlighting the slide. Then I'll go to that new slide. I'll move the dog. Then it's a matter of repeating the process over and over and over again. Let me speed this up. There we go. I'm going to switch to the slide sort of view so that we can see an overview of the whole presentation with all the slides. So. To create the simple version of an animated GIF, I'm going to go to the File menu on the Ribbon menu. There, I'm going to choose Save a Copy. I'm going to go over there and do the drop-down box next to the PowerPoint Presentation extension and find Animated GIF. Just because we're going to make several versions, let me go ahead and add a name, although you don't have to because it's going to save it as a GIF and not overwrite your file. Once you've got the new name in there, if you'd like to add it, click on Save and you're done. Let me switch over to my file system and in the folder, we're going to find a new file that has the extension of .gif. When I double click on it, it opens up the default browser to view GIF files. And now the GIF file will play through each slide and even any animated bullet points I have embedded in the presentation. And once it reaches the end slide, it will repeat over and over again as GIF animated images do. So what's the pros and cons of the simple method? It works in any modern version of PowerPoint, and it's just four clicks to accomplish. The downside is that GIF files in general can be large no matter which method you use. Secondly, the simple version makes a smaller image GIF and quality, and you have no control. Nor can you control the speed of the GIF or which slides are animated. On this particular slide, I have the whole presentation inserted as a GIF picture, and the GIF will play when I'm running in slideshow mode. The advanced Office 365 method gives us much more control of the file size and quality, and the speed of the play, plus the ability to limit to a specific series of slides. To make it happen, you still go to the File menu on the ribbon, but instead of save a copy, you'll select export. So let's go do it. I'm going to use the same presentation. And like before, we'll start with file from the ribbon menu. And this time, instead of choosing save a copy, we're going to go down to export. Within export, there's a variety of choices. We're focusing on create an animated GIF. From there, we can do the drop down menu and see that we have a variety of sizes that will impact both the file size, but also the quality of the image. Within there, we can also adjust how quickly it flips through each slides, and we can also choose a subset of the slides, or you can just keep the defaults and show all of them. Here, I'm going to just choose a few of our existing presentation. When you're done, click on create GIF. There is a difference here in that it's going to want to save it in your default picture location, which you could elect to do, or you could move it to another location and give it its name. 
I'll save it and then switch over to my file manager. And there we'll see the file listed next to the other file and note how much larger this file is compared to our simple version. It is larger even though we use fewer number of slides because we chose a higher quality setting. And when I double click it, it opens up in my default browser viewer and we see the same presentation, except this time it's a higher quality file. It also is going at a slower speed and using only a subset of selected slides. And that's all you need to do to use the advanced method. So <laughs> that's how you create an animated GIF. If you wanna learn a lot more about opening and saving files in PowerPoint, do look for our online YouTube video called All About Saving and Opening PowerPoint Presentations. Do subscribe to our YouTube channel. It helps encourage me to make more free video training for you. And if you want more Power Up training, visit our free PowerPoint school at power-up.training. Until next time, go power up.